Hey guys, I just had to make another video for you before I quit for the night. It's uh, it's cold, but I took my jacket off because I'm getting kind of hot and sweaty out here. Uh, yeah, so everything's super cramped in here, which sucks, but uh, I'll have to make do. But I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, I, I bought the same trailer frame that I have for that T-Rex over there. You can see the bar goes underneath and it just provides pretty good support. The whole trailer has been really nice and they're only 600 bucks. So I, I can post a link below and show you that. But uh, so I bought another one cause it was actually cheaper to buy that kit and maybe use half of it uh, instead of actually going out and buying aluminum. It was just aluminum so expensive. So, all right, so I'm looking at a few things here right now. Uh, first, I started looking at the trailer frame like how, how am i going to put this thing together how i'm going to make this into a trailer um sorry about my sniffling it's it's really cold uh so I, this is one of the this is one of the side pieces that are right there and this battery pack is obviously a little bit bigger so that doesn't quite work but i i have ideas just it's going to be yeah uh, i'll have to get another piece bolted on but what I'm pretty surprised about is that these line up like perfectly with there. Everything's still loose because I, I didn't want to uh, bolt and tighten anything down. But this is going to line up perfectly there. I found holes over there that are perfect. You can see them right there on both sides. So that's pretty awesome progress so far and then I, I gotta I'll have to buy a C channel to put right here because this is gonna be wider than that one so this crossbar right there won't work uh, I'm thinking about using that piece and I'll have to extend a little bit back there so it's actually gonna be uh, a little over eight feet from this point that way because I want to be able to put a sheet of plywood right on top of this. So it's going to be about 10 feet long, which will be a pretty awesome little uh, bed to put stuff on, but also uh, a little teardrop trailer eventually. Uh, so that's where I am with the frame. I bought a bunch of bolts and of course I don't have the right size for anything that I need. So I have to pretty much stop that for the night. But I thought I'd also show you some of the cool stuff I got along with the battery pack. So I have this. This is just the coolant coupler. So I got that. That's perfect. Um, this is a, a circulation pump for a Prius. And I saw online that they're actually really strong. So I'll give that a try. Uh, I w wish I knew they existed beforehand because in, in that one over there... I bought the the stupid expensive one from EVTV, and it's loud. Uh, so I'm definitely looking for one that's hopefully quieter. Um, and then I got a, another heater, so that was included. And then I have all my connections back here. However, I don't see how I can possibly use that. It's great to have it, of course, but it's just gonna, it, it's too high. I mean, I was only planning on going about that high, so around there. So I think it's like three, three and a half inches. I think it's about three and a half inches. And yeah, I, I was going to put some foam insulation here, uh, some plywood, and that'll pretty much eat up that space. That'll be the floor for the teardrop. But this definitely sticks out much higher. So... I'm open to suggestions, open to ideas. I have heard that people have taken copper and just like a copper tube and hammered it flat and stuck it in there. Uh, yeah, I just basically need to come off here and do a 90 because these wires are going to have to go that way because that's going to be the front. And on top of that is going to be the, the box like I had for the old T-Rex. Uh, and then I got all my... 
<laughs> I was getting into stuff. Then I got my connectors here. And what's interesting, if you haven't seen all of this stuff before, uh, these are all like, oh man, what are they called? Just, it's springy. So when you crank, uh, when you jack up the battery and it connected to the car, they just, they align themselves right in the holes and uh, it fits right in there. So when you drop this pack, you don't have to worry about reaching up and unplugging anything because it all automatically unplugs. I mean, I, I feel like over time, they would probably stick a little bit, but he, the guy I bought this from said, yeah, every time he drops a pack, it's, it's easy, and they cover it out. Uh, so that's about where I'm at, but I discovered something absolutely horrible that happened with all of this stuff that I'm doing. So I have to climb over everything. Oh yeah, here's uh, some plugs. I just picked these up off eBay. These are old uh, Nissan Leaf. So these are gonna be my charging cables. I was worried that this was only gonna be good for maybe lower amperage, but the wire size looks pretty good. I'll have to look into a little bit more. Those just arrived today. All right, but unfortunately, oh, beer. Beer is right there. I was able to get my hand in and get one. Oh, and I can kind of, I can kind of reach this one. Uh, yeah. Okay, but yeah, that, that's got to change, unfortunately. <laughs> I rotated the camera. Hopefully you guys could see that okay. And I guess before I let you go, I'll cover my suspension and talk about that real quick. I think I mentioned this maybe in a previous video, but... This is the suspension that I'm gonna go with for this trailer. And these suckers are heavy. It's a Timbrin uh, suspension. It's got a, uh, a four inch drop. So it's actually gonna be much lower than that. It's, uh, so th the center of the hub is actually gonna be pretty much right there where I mount it. So if I do a 12 inch tire, which that's what they came with. Uh, I'd probably end up, I'll, I'll try a 13, maybe a 14 eventually. Uh, but if I did a 12, it's only gonna be six inches from the ground, which is gonna be pretty good for wind resistance. And uh, it's just, it's gonna be low, but my car is about five, six inches from the ground. So I, I think that'll be really good. I, I've really been thinking a lot about aero uh, for this trailer build because I, I obviously I want it to be as efficient as possible So I wanted the four inch drop so it was lower to the ground and obviously I don't know if you can see it, but these are all flat the Bottom of the back so the pack so that's gonna help with wind, but yeah, so this is my Timbrin suspension uh, That was not cheap, but it's gonna be awesome um but yeah, I guess that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is going to be pretty exciting. Really glad to have uh, another project to work on. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, have fun, guys, and watch for the next one. See ya.